From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday, February 10th, 2015. In the news, the suspect in a recent shooting has been detained. Police say Byron Kozevnikov was taken into custody shortly after 10 p.m. Sunday in the 2300 block of South Cushman. Kozevnikov has already been indicted by a grand jury on six charges, including attempted murder, and is being held without bail. Police say he was the shooter in the February 1st incident near 24th Avenue and Turner Street that left two people injured. Kozevnikov was arrested after coming out of a business on South Cushman. After an alleged confession, a Fairbanks man has been indicted by a grand jury for arson. 48-year-old Thomas Monroe is accused of setting fire to his brother's cabin last April. Court documents say Monroe went to Fairbanks police in January and said he wanted to confess to the crime. The cabin was totaled in the fire and Monroe was taken to Fairbanks Memorial Hospital with injuries. Monroe also admitted to setting his mother's house on fire. And Alaska's elected officials say the Obama administration is breaking a federal promise made to the state for no new wilderness areas by recommending that Anmar be designated as wilderness. AP reports officials from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service disagree and say they're following the law. President Obama announced on January 25th he would recommend to Congress that the refuge be designated as wilderness, making it off limits for petroleum drilling. But only Congress can make the final decision. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. It's improving today, mostly clear, high 0 to 10 below. Tonight, mostly cloudy, low 7 to 15 below. Tomorrow, cloudy with a chance of snow by evening, highs 5 to 15 above. And things should be warmer but windier in the hills. Extended forecast, mostly cloudy through the weekend. Highs in the teens through Friday, maybe low 20 Saturday and Sunday. Air index uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups in Fairbanks and unhealthy in North Pole. The Aurora forecast is low. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. And remember, for more news, sports, or weather, download our free mobile app for Android and Apple devices. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.